Now we shall start with the study of lac operon. Jacob and Monat, as said earlier, these were the scientists who studied about the regulation of gene expression. So such a study was made with the help of a model known as lac operon model. This experiment by them was the best till now in order to understand the regulation of gene expression using a sugar molecule. But before understanding the model, let us understand that what does the term operon mean? Operon is considered as a structure that consists of regulator gene, promoter gene, operator gene, and structural gene. Thus, these four genes together constitute the operon. Out of these two, the operon is basically made up of two types of genes. First, structural gene, which we have already studied earlier, that the structural gene are the DNA segments that carries the code for protein synthesis. And the second type of genes are control genes. These are the genes or DNA segments that controls the activity of structural genes. That is the structural gene which carries the code for protein synthesis and helps in its biosynthesis. The entire activity is controlled by control gene. Now, these gene activity can be in either manner, that is, can be either by induction or suppression. These are the control genes which are of mainly three types, that is, First, regulator gene, regulator gene can be defined as the gene that produces specific enzymes to which RNA polymerase binds. And therefore, this regulator gene initially acts as repressor substance. Why? Because as said earlier that these are the genes which produce a specific enzyme which first of all binds to the RNA polymerase and therefore it indirectly stops the synthesis of mRNA in the initial manner and therefore at the beginning time regulator gene is considered as a repressor substance. The second type of gene that is a part of control gene includes 
ऑपरेटर जी ऑपरेटर जी इज डिपेक्टेड बाय कैपिटल ओ इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ डीएनए सेगमेंट दैट एक्सरसाइज a control over transcription that is the transcription of a gene that is formation of mrna can take place only by the activation of operator gene and finally the third type of control gene is promoter gene depicted by capital p it can be defined as the dna segment at which transcription of the structural gene takes place and therefore it controls the rate of mrna synthesis in this manner an operon consists of four types of gene that is structural gene and three types of control gene that is regulator operator and promoter gene Now let us study about the lac operon model. Lac operon means the operon that is conducted with the help of sugar molecule that is lactose. So it is defined as lactose operon model. As said earlier, this model was first proposed by Jacob and Monad. it was these two french scientists who proposed that metabolic pathways are regulated as a unit as a result of this they started different kinds of changes within the enzyme nature of bacteria called e coli that induced the synthesis of mainly three types of enzyme namely first beta glycosidase second permease and third trans acetylase thus these were the three enzymes that were induced by the functioning of the bacteria that is e coli that help in the breaking down of sugar molecule named lactose that got converted into simple sugar molecule that is gulatose thus with the help of these three enzymes the conversion of the complex sugar molecule that is lactose got converted into the simple one that is gulatose and therefore according to these scientists 
the synthesis of these three enzymes were controlled by a long DNA segment. And such a long DNA segment within such a model was called as operon. And therefore, this entire conversion or the synthesis of enzyme within the bacteria was mainly carried out by operon, that is a DNA segment, which got divisible into various operator sites that included mainly three structural genes. These structural genes were named as Z, Y and A. These were the three structural genes that were present within the operator site of a operon. As said earlier that the action or the activity of structural gene is mainly regulated by the operator site. As the earlier operator site is defined as O or mentioned as O with the help of Repressive protein that was produced by the action of inducer gene. which can be also termed as regulator gene that held in its regulation which is termed as capital I. Thus, it was because of the regulator gene action that the operator site got activated and as a result, the structural gene became active and performed its function. And therefore, the expression of a gene mainly depends on the operator switch that is depends on the switch is on or off of the operator and accordingly the expression of a gene occurs and so in the this basis it was said that when the switch that is operator switch is on then the three genes that is the structural regulator and repressor these three genes are transcribed by RNA That is the RNA transcription or the transcription of by RNA mainly takes place on these three on the structural gene that is the Z, Y and A as mentioned earlier. So in presence of operator switch that is when this switch is on the transcription of the three structural genes takes place. Thus RNA polymerase 
helps in its transcri transcription and converts into a single stretch of mRNA that is formed at the end of transcription that covers all the three structural genes. On the contrary, when the operator switch is off, then the transcription of these three genes do not occur. Now, the operator switch being on or off depends on the repressor protein. As said earlier that in presence of repressor protein, the operator gene cannot become active because it represses or binds to the operator thereby deactivating its function. And therefore, when this protein that is repressor protein binds to the operator, it thereby represses or blocks it and therefore this switch gets turned off as a result of which these three genes that is structural genes cannot be expressed. This figure depicts the active and repressed state of lac operon. As it can be seen from the figure that when to the inducer protein, the repressor binds to the operator site, it blocks it and as a result of which these stru three structural genes that are Z, Y and A cannot become active and as a result the mRNA synthesis due to lack of transcription cannot occur. But on the contrary, when the inducer protein binds to the repressive protein, then it blocks it and as a result of which the operator site remains free due to which the mRNA synthesis occurs due to transcription in presence of these three enzymes that is galactosidase, permease and transacetylase. In this manner, the lac operon model or the lactose operon model works.